<laughs> okay, so uh, we've been looking at ratios and proportions. We're going to look at something slightly different today. We're going to be looking at that packet that you have with all the measurements on the front of it. We're actually going to be flipping to the back page of that packet, the very back. In the very back of that packet, there are some ratios and proportions there that deal with, that have units in them. So we might look at something like this. Um, four quarts to eight pounds is the same as two pints to how many ounces? When we look at a problem like this, we have to make sure, obviously this is not ratios, this is rates, because they don't have the same labels on the top and the bottom of each fraction. But So it's okay that these, these units, this unit is different from this unit. But what is not okay, anytime we have a proportion, what's over here has to have the same unit as what's over here. Those two have to match up, period. So we have to make those match up. So I can either change the two pints into quarts, or I can change the two quarts, or the four quarts into pints. I'm going to go from quarts into pints because that, that way I'm not going to end up with a fraction there. I always go to the smaller unit, it usually seems to be easier. So four quarts is how many pints? How many pints are in a quart? Two pints in a quart. Four quarts in a gallon. There's two pints in a quart, so that means four quarts is eight. Pints. Now we need to change. Morning, sir. Oh, yeah. Give me just a second. I'll finish up here. Now we need to change the eight pounds into ounces. How many ounces in a pound? Sixteen. Sixteen. So eight ounces times sixteen is, or eight pounds times sixteen, one hundred twenty-eight ounces. Now we can cross multiply and divide. One twenty-eight times two divided by eight, which is. 32, for those of you that are punching it in. I see you all racing to the calculators to get the answer. <laughs> Don't hurt yourselves. Don't want to sprain a finger. This is my really committed class, as you can tell. Dedicated students. Anyway. Is there too poor to have heat in this wing? No, this, this station puts off a lot of heat, so it's like 4 or 5 degrees hotter up here, so I turn the thermostat down to oh, okay. make it cool. These guys all complain about it too. You can see them all in their coats and stuff. Here, we're going to pause this for a second. <laughs> How much are you talking about? So let's look at something like 18 pounds per square foot, 18 PSF. We want to convert this into ounces per square inch. First thing we have to do, 18 pounds per square foot is 18 pounds per one square foot. And we're going to be converting that into ounces per one square inch. So what do we have to do with these units here? What do we have to change them to? Well, you're going to have units in fractions. Okay. Well, the 18 pounds are going to have to become ounces somehow. So that would be 288, correct? Do you guys know where that 288 comes from? Over one. Over one, yeah, if you want to be technical. How about the one square foot? Well, not 12, it's not, it's not feet, it's square oh, feet. 144. 144, there you go. One square foot's 144 square inches. Now you can cross, multiply, and divide. You have two ounces. Per square inch. What do you think? Okay, there are like six or eight questions like that on the back of your packet. That'll be your homework today. Finish out, do that back page of the packet. 